हेलो एवरी वन वेलकम टू क्लास सीरीज एंड इन दिस वीडियो विल गोना बी डिस्कसिंग आर फोर्थ चैप्टर ऑफ फर्स्ट पी यू सी इंग्लिश डेट इज ओरू मनुष्यन सो एवरी वन ओपन योर टेक्सट बुक्स नोट्स टेक योर पेन पेंसिल्स एंड स्टार्ट राइटिंग सो लेट्स गेट इन टू आर कॉम्प्रहेंशन फर्स्ट पार्ट इन डेट आर फर्स्ट क्वेश्चन इज हाउ फॉर वॉज द बिग सिटी फ्रॉम द नरेटर्स होम टाउन द आंसर फॉर दिस क्वेश्चन इज द बिग सिटी वॉज अराउंड अ थाउजेंड फाइव हंड्रेड माइल्स अवे फ्रॉम द नरेटर्स होम टाउन ओके आर सेकेंड क्वेश्चन इज वेर डिड द नरेटर्स स्टे इन द बिग सिटी द आंसर फॉर दिस क्वेश्चन इज द नरेटर स्टेट इन अ वेरी स्मॉल डिंगी डी आई एन जी वाई इन अ वेरी स्मॉल डिंगी रूम इन द बिग सिटी आर थर्ड क्वेश्चन इज फॉर मनी पेपर वुड डू एनी थिंग इवन कमिट मर्डर ओके द आंसर फॉर दिस क्वेश्चन इज कमिट मर्डर आर फोर्थ क्वेश्चन इज वट वॉज द नरेटर डूइंग टू अर्न अ लिविंग द आंसर फॉर दिस क्वेश्चन इज द नरेटर टॉट इंग्लिश टू सम मिग्रेंट लेबर्स इन ऑर्डर टू अर्न अ लिविंग ओके आर फिफ्थ क्वेश्चन इज डैश वॉज कंसिडर्ड ग्रेट एजुकेशन देर ऑप्शन ए learning english option b learning to write an address in english option c writing addresses at the post office the answer for this question is option b learning to write an address in english our sixth question is what reason did the narrator give for sleeping all the day and having food in the evening the answer for this question is the reason narrator sleeps all the day and have food in the evening so that he could save the expense of drinking his morning tea and eating the noon meal okay our seventh question is how much money did the narrator have in his pocket as his life saving the answer for this question is the narrator had 14 rupees in his pocket as his life saving let's move on to our next question that is eighth question the man who came forward to pay the narrator's bill was option a a man with a red turban option b a person dressed in a suit option c a money lender the correct answer for this question is option a a man with a red turban so here we are done with our comprehension first part let's move on to our comprehension second part that is our second main in that our first question is describe the people and the place where the incident took place so as we know before starting any kind of four marker or any kind of six marker first we write the introduction part so in this question of four marker also you have to write that introduction not only in this question in every question you have to write it okay so our answer starts as this question is extracted from the chapter oru manushyan and it is written by vaikom mohammad bashir so we are done with our introduction part now we will start with our main answer so you have a best advantage here the best advantage is that the main answer of this question is in the textbook itself but there are some points which i'm going to be dictating you okay so as we know we are done with the introduction part we'll go for the main answer the main answer of this question starts in the page number 31 of your textbook of 15th line or basically last second paragraph okay you have to write the same paragraph okay so the paragraph starts as it was quite a big city in your answer you don't have to write the same thing you have to make note of some kind of changes okay so you will start as the place was quite a big city in the valley of a mountain and it was some 1500 miles away from home then you will continue the sentence the inhabitants of which had never been known for the quality of mercy they were a cruel people murder robbery pickpocketing these were daily occurrences by tradition the people were professional soldiers 
सम ऑफ देम वेंट टू डिस्टेंट प्लेसेस एंड लेंट आउट मनी ऑन इंटरेस्ट मैनी पीपल सर्वड एज वॉच मैन इन बैंक्स मिल्स एंड लार्ज कमर्शियल एस्टैब्लिशमेंट्स इन द बिग सिटीज मनी वॉज हाईली वैल्यूड बाय दैम फॉर मनी दे वुड डू एनी थिंग इवन कमिट मर्डर टिल हियर यू विल राइट द आंसर फ्रॉम टेक्सट बुक ओके एंड देर आर वन और टू सेंटेंसेस मोर इन दिस आंसर सो दो सेंटेंसेस आई एम गो ना बी डिक्टेटिंग ओके यू कंटिन्यू विद द आंसर द पीपल्स ऑफ दिस प्लेस हैव नो नॉलेज ऑफ इंग्लिश लर्निंग टू राइट एन एड्रेस इन इंग्लिश वॉज कंसिडर्ड अ ग्रेट एजुकेशन हियर सो वी आर डर्न विथ आर फर्स्ट क्वेश्चन ऑफ फोर मार्कर्स of our second main let's move on to our second question that is what was the routine of the narrator in this city so our answer of second question starts as follows this question is extracted from our chapter oru manushyan and it is written by vaikam mohammad bashir and the main answer continue so in this question also the main answer is in the textbook itself but there are also some points which i'm going to be dictating okay come to page number 31 of your textbook last paragraph it starts as i stayed in that city okay so how will you start your answer you will not copy all the things in your answer okay you will start as there was nothing exciting about the routine of the narrator in the big city then continue with the textbook page number 31 last paragraph the narrator stayed in that city in a very small dingy room on a dirty street he carried i repeat he carried on a profession there that is teaching english to some migrant laborers from 9:30 till evening in the night as they were working people he could teach them only in the evening he taught them to write addresses in english in the textbook till here you will stop it okay then you will come to the next paragraph basically page number 32 second paragraph okay basically sixth line of page number 32 the narrator thought the skill of writing addresses to people in order to escape the same fate and to see if he could save some money then also continue with the next paragraph that is the narrator would sleep all the day and wake up at 4 in the evening continue with the next sentence of the textbook so that he could save the expense of drinking his morning tea or eating the noon meal so till here is the answer of your second question let's move on to our third question that is give an account of the embarrassing experience of the narrator at the restaurant so our answer starts as follows this question is extracted from our chapter oru manushyan and it is written by vaikam mohammad bashir and you will continue with the main answer as The incident took place in the big city. One evening, the narrator goes to a crowded restaurant to have his food, and he ate a full meal consisting of chapatis and meat curry. He drank tea as well, but when he has to pay the bill of eleven annas, he realizes that his purse with his life saving of fourteen rupees is missing. from his pocket of his coat but the owner of the restaurant thinks that the speaker is trying to cheat him and threatens to gouge his eyes out if he fails to pay the complete amount none of the others at the restaurant seem to have any kindness or mercy the speaker pleads with the owner to keep his coat as a surety but the owner gufwas g u f f a w s gufwas and makes the speaker remove his coat shirt and shoes in front of all the people that were presented in the restaurant when he wants the speaker to remove even the trousers the speaker pleads with him for mercy saying 
he has nothing inside this only invokes i n v o k e s this only invokes more laughter l a u g h t e r more laughter and the restaurant owner comma along with 50 other people gathered there forces the speaker to strip s t r i p strip further saying mockingly m o c k i n g l y mockingly there must be something inside the speaker now resigned to his fate starts unbuttoning his trousers u n b u t t o n i n g unbuttoning his trousers all the time imagining himself staying naked n a k e d naked in front of others with his eyes gouged out g o u g e d gouge we know that the narrator is not a cheater it must have been a terribly t e r r i b l y terribly embarrassing for him to have realized that he had eaten his food at the restaurant but had no money to pay for the food hence this was the embarrassing experience of the narrator at the restaurant okay we are done with our third question let's move on to fourth question that is a stranger saved the day for the narrator how the answer starts as this question is extracted from our chapter oru manushan and it is written by vaikom mohammad bashi and the main answer i am dictating you people please continue when the narrator at the point of removing his trousers though he had nothing inside comma a blue eyed e y e d eyed fair complexioned c o m p l e x i o n e d fair complexioned 6 foot tall with a red turban and white trousers intervenes i n t e r v e n e s intervenes and offers to pay the full amount due from the narrator to the restaurant owner he asks the speaker to go with him and when the grateful speaker asks for his name he says that he has no name and in that the speaker replies then mercy must be your name but the other person does not react and walks on until they reach a deserted bridge d e s e r t e d deserted thereafter making sure that no one is around the stranger takes out five wallets and asks the speaker which of these is his he wants the speaker to go away without turning around and adds that the speaker should not admit to anyone that he has seen the man he gives the wallet of the speaker which was identified by him with the money intact i n t a c t intact and leaves the place wishing the speaker that he be helped by god the speaker on his part hopes that god would help the stranger thus we see that pickpocket helps the narrator not only at the restaurant but also outside by returning his purse thus a stranger saved the day of the narrator okay so we are done with our second main that is comprehension second so let's move on to our third main that is comprehension third part in that our first question is does this story talk about transformation in a person discuss so we have come to our six markers and for six markers we know that the format is first we have to write that introduction part from which chapter and who is the writer and the second one we have to write is little bit introduction of the writer of the chapter okay then after that the last thing is the main part of the answer so let's start this answer the answer starts as this question is extracted from our chapter oru manushan and it is written by vaikam mohammad bashir and the next part is the writer's introduction 
so this part i am not going to be dictating okay you can directly come to page number 36 there is author introduction is given you can write any of these points just simple two to three points are enough okay if you want your answer should look in a great description then you can write more points okay let's move on to our main answer main answer i will be dictating to you and it starts as yes the chapter oro manushan talks about the transformation in a person the transformation is seen in the pickpocket the pickpocket not only helps the narrator at the restaurant but also helps him further by returning the purse this is how the act of kindness gains in significance first of all the pickpocket is good enough to help the man who faces humiliation as he has lost his purse secondly he is kind enough to return the purse and thirdly the 12 annas that he pays is not the narrator's money but his own perhaps the pickpocket until then was not a witness to the problems created for people for whom he had stolen their purse maybe the narrator's plight P L I G H T plight may be the narrator's plight reveals to him for the first time glimpses G L I M P S E S glimpses of the problems faced by people when they lose their purse P U R S C purse with their hard earned money in it that is why despite the fact that people at the place were usually merciless m e r c i l e s s merciless thus we see a transformation taking place in the heart of the pickpocket so we are done with our first question of comprehension third part let's move on to our second question that is do you think the restaurant keeper was over reacting when the narrator could not pay the bill if so what accounts for his behavior the answer for this question starts as this question is extracted from our chapter oru manushan and it is written by vekam mohammad bashir and after that you have to write little bit of the author's introduction okay or the writer's introduction so the main answer i am dictating you you people start writing this question talks about the behavior of restaurant keeper towards the narrator yes he was over reacting when the narrator could not pay the bill he gave the narrator no chance at all it is as if all those who claimed to have lost their purse were liars l i a r s liars even when the narrator ask him to keep his coat he shows no mercy he has a lot of sadistic pleasure s a d i s t i c sadistic pleasure at the cost of the narrator while forcing him to strip s t r i p strip okay continue with the answer he comes out as a cruel man who has no pity at all for people with problems however there is the possibility that he has turned out to be so cruel after bitter experiences if we consider the fact that the people of that place were ready to do anything for money we should understand that the restaurant owner might have had people dupping him d u p i n g dupping him with a cock and bull story of losing the purse maybe over the years he has lost his gentleness and hence goes to the extreme extent of ill treating i w l l dash t r e a t i n g ill treating such people so that others wouldn't dare come up with lies all said and done the final word on the restaurant owner is that he comes out as a merciless i repeat m e r c i l e w s continue with the answer 
he could have made the narrator do some work in his restaurant to make up for the 11 annas but he gives absolutely no chance to the narrator and humiliates him so we are done with all the mains all the question answers of this chapter thank you for watching class series